Hi, I'm Divya Kugnani, and today we're gonna pay homage to my heritage. We're at Bukhara Grill in Manhattan, New York, one of the only places that I like to have Indian food besides my own home. So let's go behind the burner and meet the restaurateur and chef. Hi, I'm here with restaurateur Vicky Vidge and executive chef Bachchan Rawat. Vicky, what are we making? Uh, we are cooking today chicken lajawab. Let's get started. We we'll start with some chicken. Yeah, some chicken. You can use other white meat or dark meat chicken, like the bite-sized pieces. And then we have other ingredients here. Start with hot oil and then add ginger and garlic, chopped ginger and garlic. Add the onions, sauté them till they get brown. Do you want that brown color? Yeah, a little brown, yes. So now we're ready for the spices. Okay, one stick of cinnamon, couple of cloves, couple of black peppercorns. Whole black peppercorns. Whole peppercorns, right? yes. And uh, cardamom. Which green, is a lovely green. Indian spice. Yes, green cardamom. Got some fresh tomatoes. Do you use plum tomatoes or yeah. just a whole tomato? Whole tomatoes. Whole tomatoes. Chopped tomatoes. So now more spices. Yes, turmeric powder. Mm -hmm. Which you can buy in the Indian grocery store. Indian store. grocery stores. Red chili powder to taste, the coriander powder, which you get in Indian stores, and cumin powder. They're very, very beautiful flavoring agents. So those are all lovely spices. Where do you normally get them? Any Indian store you can find it. In New York, any Indian store, they all carry it. So, But I would suggest if you want to take whole spices and grind them, and the best thing to grind is everybody has a coffee grinder at home. It's much easier. The freshness is there. The best thing to do. And that's wonderful because then you can store those spices, store spices. and use them. For and you can food. use whatever you want to use. Grind only what you use and just not leave the unused later on. Right, so grind what you need to use. That's it. And I believe we're ready for our tomato yeah. puree. Tomato puree, yes. And yogurt. Yogurt. And you can decide whether you want to go full fat or yeah. low fat. Low I'm fat. assuming you're, you're going low fat or low full fat. fat? Low fat. Low fat. Okay, that's good to know. People prefer low fat. Now. People prefer a low fat. Okay, so now that we've added the yogurt, we're ready for the chicken. The chicken's gonna take on that beautiful color. So is it done yet? Yeah, it's done, I think. And uh, now we finish it uh, with a sprinkle of fresh coriander. Which is like on every Indian dish, you've always got a little yeah. bit of fresh, you and, see that and, green. Uh, like fresh, fresh cilantro. Yeah. And we normally plate it not in a plate, but in a bowl because Indian food is eaten as a family, family style. So right. we all share it. So Vicky, tell us about this big spread. Okay, you know mostly about it. We have here uh, basmati rice, the mint bread, pudina paratha. We have this chicken tikka, mint flavor added chicken tikka, pickled mushrooms, the mixed vegetables, and the chicken lajawab. And lastly, but not the least important, is the paneer he made. Oh, well, paneer is a very simple dish. We just have some cottage cheese cubes cooked with onions and tomatoes and a bit of chaat masala, and there it's ready. And what are we drinking? Well, the icing on the cake here in the meal um, is a beer which has been created to be very, very tasty and flavorful on the front end and smooth on the back end to enhance and complement the flavor of very bountiful tasting food, Indian food, which is 1947 beer. Cheers. So cheers. 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 Thanks for cheers. having us. For a limited time only, you can visit Bukhara Grill in Manhattan, New York and mention Behind the Burner to get 15% off your entire check. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire. <laughs>